Everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today we're going to jump into N64 emulation here on Botticera, and I'm going to show you guys what we can do to our emulator settings to actually improve the graphic qualities of our games. So, first thing we're going to do today is I'm going to jump into a couple titles and show you guys what the graphics look like stock on here. So, if you never went in and adjusted your emulators, this is likely going to be what you encounter in here when you jump into your N64 games. And then I'm going to show you guys what we can do to step up the graphic qualities here and improve your overall look to your games. So one of my favorite games on here is WCW NWO Revenge. Love this wrestling game on N64. It's probably my absolute favorite game on the entire console collection. However, it's very pixelated if you're going off what it looked like, you know, when it came out in, I believe, 1998. So even just looking at the little preview here in the um, left side of the screen, you can see it looks pretty cool, but definitely has some pixelation to it. So we're gonna jump in here. I'm gonna let this load up. We're gonna jump into a match and I'll show you guys exactly what we're experiencing and how we can improve it. All right, so I'm just gonna jump in here to an exhibition, set up a match real quick, just so we can see what everything looks like. Um, but we should be able to tell right here, just looking at these characters on the right side of our screen that they look decent, but the edging on them isn't crisp at all. Um, definitely see a lot of pixelation going on here. So that's Hollywood Hogan. We can go down to the giant, same deal there. Um, definitely where the different colors kind of come together, you can see a lot of pixelation. The solid areas aren't so bad. Same thing, Brian Adams, Scott Hall, everything's very pixelated. So let me set this up. We can actually check out the different versions as well. So we have the um, yellow Hulk Hogan here and then some more Hollywood Hogan. So let's jump into this one, which is the main one. And um, let's go with another guy. Uh, Sting is pretty good in terms of, um, well, he's actually pretty terrible there if we're being perfectly honest. Let's go with this one. So we'll see how they come out, but very, very, very pixelated here. Not so bad when it's up close, but like back here, very pixelated around the edges and all that. So let me skip ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how Sting comes out. Sting's really bad. You know, they have some details on his shirt here that, um, again, up close isn't terrible, but when you back out, you can you can barely tell if that's supposed to be a scorpion on his chest. So let's go into the actual game here. So. You know, same deal. Not the worst I've ever seen, but definitely uh, could be better in a lot of ways. So that's all we really need to see here. I think you guys are gonna remember exactly what this looks like. Um, let me jump out though. And um, let's make these changes. So I'm just hitting my hotkey to back out. So now that I've backed out, if we go to hold, now I'm using an Xbox, um, modern day xbox style controller here so i'm going to be hitting a if you're on like a playstation style controller you're going to hit the x button and you're just going to hold this down and what that does is it gives you a bunch of different options here for the specific game so you can see up at the top it says wcw nwo revenge so we know that these settings are going to be specific to this one title so now if we drop down to advanced game options and select that the first line says emulator that's all we need to do here if we take a look at that it says auto right now and if we go either left or right with our D-pad, we're able to switch through all these different options for specific emulators for N64 that we can choose. So we actually wanna go, if you're on auto and you just go to the left, that's gonna give you this one that ends in RICE, R-I-C-E. If we select this one, this is going to be the best emulator here that improves the graphics the most. Now, this doesn't work on every single game for this collection, but it works for the majority of them. And I've tested out a whole bunch and every single one of them that I've tested has been significantly improved from what it was um, on the stock auto setting here. So we're gonna just leave it here selected like that and all we have to do is back out. So on the Xbox style controller that I have right here, I'm just gonna hit my A button. That's gonna back me out. And if we select this game now, we're gonna let it load in here, but it's gonna look drastically different than what it looked like a few seconds ago. So the other thing I want to point out here is we're in full screen. You can do this in each of your emulators by just switching your um, screen size and all of that. But 
a lot of them look even worse if you stretch them without going into the proper emulator. So let me advance in here. We're gonna do the exact same thing we just did with the same characters and everything. All right, so we'll go into exhibition. Just right off the bat, just looking at everything as it is right now on the screen, it looks crisper, even on like the letters and the background and all of that. So we'll go into single match. Um, actually, I think we did last time Super Brawl. So let's do the same exact thing that we did before. So here's Hollywood Hogan. Just looking at him here, he's super crisp. And let's go through the different options. I could barely even see like the facial expressions or anything like that in the previous version. So you can see it's just better across the board here. So we're gonna go with the same Hollywood Hogan we did before. Uh, who did we do? We did Sting. So he was over here. So we have Red Face Sting here. Looks really good in the face especially. Um, here's the one that we chose and we'll just go through the other ones. This particular one, you couldn't really see anything on the previous version. It just looked absolutely awful. Um, let's go back. So we have trench coat one and then we're back to Wolfpack. So we'll, this is the one we chose before. So we're going to do the same thing here again. We'll get this started. We'll see how they come out. Really sharp here from far away. Um, up close, I mean, this doesn't even look like an N64 game anymore. This looks almost modern day. It looks like a modern version of an older game. So just way better. So with the way that it looks here, I could play this game endlessly because my only complaint about this game previously, while it is still one of my favorite N64 collection games, it definitely looked pixelated to the point where it was almost not fully enjoyable to play. So here's Sting really sharp here. We didn't see now far away. It looks just as good as it does up close. That wasn't the case previously. So I'm going to just advance through this and we'll just start the match a little bit like we did before. So he's getting the better of me off the bat here. There we go. So just sharper across the board here. Everything about this looks great. So that's all you really need to do, and you can do this for the majority of your game. So while I have you here, let me jump out, and let's do it with one other game here. Let's jump into Mario Kart, because that's the other game that uh, is my one of my personal favorites, but I think it's everybody's favorite for this collection. Just everybody loves Mario Kart 64. So let me find that on here. Where are you? Here it is. Let me check what I have as my um, settings on here. So we're on auto here as well. This may look a little bit different because it is a different game, but let's jump into it auto um, and see how it looks after we make those changes. All right, so I'm jumping into Mario Kart 64 now. You can see definitely some pixelation on the Nintendo logo here. Uh, jumping in, we also aren't stretching the screen. If I stretch the screen on this particular one, you would see a lot of pixelation. It doesn't look terrible here. Um, the colors aren't super bold, but yeah, it definitely doesn't look terrible by any means. So let me set up a game here. Just gonna do like, uh, you know, whatever the first options are. Um, yeah, not worried about the speed or anything. Um, yeah, it would just be Mario. And we'll do the first cup here. So all in all, the graphics here aren't terrible, um, but we haven't stretched it. And you can definitely see along the edges, like with the wrestling game there, um, you know, we're seeing some pixelation. We're seeing pixelation around the um, scenery in the background, definitely around the, um, um, you know, different power-ups that you pick up along the way. Just everything doesn't look super crisp. It looks like it would look in 1996. Uh, which is fair. I mean, that's when the game came out. So, um, but luckily for us, you know, it's 2022 right now at the time of this video anyways, and uh, we can make some changes to better the performance. So I'm going to jump out of this, hit my hot key. And again, if we hold the A button on my Xbox style controller, X if you're on PlayStation, and then obviously if you're on a different style controller altogether, you got to find the corresponding button 
that gets you into these options. But we're just gonna hold down again A for me because I'm on Xbox style controller and drop down options, advanced game options. And I'm currently on auto, which I'm not sure actually which emulator it automatically picks up. I'm guessing probably uh, this one here or you know one of these first two or three. Uh, we're gonna go to the last one though. So if we are on auto and we just go over to the left, uh, that's gonna be this one here, which ends with that slash rice, R-I-C-E again. We're gonna just leave it selected, back out, jump back into the exact same game here. This is going to stretch it automatically as well. Um, so we're in that 16-9 aspect ratio, right off the bat, Nintendo logo, super crisp. There's no pixelation on the edges or anything at all. So we'll see what this welcome screen looks like. It's stretched, it looks really crisp. Um, really no complaints at all there brighter too so we'll jump in here let's do 100 cc's makes no difference graphically um, they stay lit up on here too you noticed if I switched characters it actually blacked them out on the other one so here they stay present so you can see them as you select them we'll do Mario again probably should have done Donkey Kong because the bigger the character is the more pixelation they have Mario is one of the smaller ones. We'll do Mushroom Cup, same as before. And let's see what we got here. Very crisp right off the bat. Backgrounds, look at the trees in the background. They're pretty much perfect. Um, very limited pixelation around the edges of the character here. The um, power-up icons are crisp as well. Even the uh, checkered pattern on the outside of the uh, track here is perfect not pixelated at all so this is definitely the um, absolute best way to enjoy this game and again not every single game is going to work the same way um, you know and have that same emulator options there's going to be a couple titles here and there that don't work when you're trying to make those changes but it's definitely worth trying it out at the very least worst case you find a game that it doesn't work on and you go back to the um, automatic emulator or switch to one of the other options that it actually works on but here it's night and day in terms of the graphic quality um, so I highly recommend going with this specific uh, emulator change for N64 on Botticera. So let me jump out of this game, but that's going to do it for today. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you found this helpful, do me a favor and smash the like button for me here on YouTube. It's a huge help with the algorithm here on YouTube and all that. So much appreciated if you could do that for me. Uh, best way to stay in the loop for all future videos, of course, is to hit the subscribe button here. So if you're into what you're seeing, you're enjoying the content here on the Retropaga YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and that's going to you know put you in the loop for all future videos that we put out here on the retro pie guy youtube channel but that's going to do it for today hopefully this uh was a help to you guys and improved your overall experience with this amazing collection through botticera's emulation platform if you guys have any questions or anything like that feel free to hit me up in the comments section always happy to help you guys out any way i possibly can but that's going to do it for today thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys real soon